Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today I'm going to be showing you guys some pretty cool features coming to the um, a 32 x by FlybyWire. Now some other really exciting news is FlybyWire recently uh, gave me the opportunity to become one of their QA testers. So this will give me the uh, opportunity to display some new features that are in the works. However, it's important to remember that a lot of those features are in development and are subject to change, as well as possibly removal if they don't work out. Um, and I'll be specifying those features, obviously, each time I display one. Um, it's not going to be everything. It's only going to be ones that really stand out. But um, this is going to help a lot with also uh, keeping the guide up to date um, as uh, I'll sort of have the inside loop on that. So... Uh, um, thank you to the fly-by-wire team. So far, they've all been very helpful, very uh, pleasant to work with. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to building that relationship. So pretty exciting stuff. But let's go ahead and get into what I want to show you guys today. So as I'm sure you guys have seen on many YouTube channels by now is that the EFB is coming to life. Now, here's the cool part is you can see that we are actually in a cold and dark aircraft right now. But I can come down here, click on the screen, and the EFB comes to life. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in on it and walk through some of the features that either are implemented or that are coming our way. Okay, so first off, you can see that the aircraft is actually showing that we're sort of off kilter there of where we actually are. Um, this is something that is going to be addressed, um, but the moving map will be functional at the time that this is all um, let loose. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to some of the other information that we can see here. First, we get the from sim brief, so we can actually load our previous flight plan, um, and it's going to give us some really inform cool information. So let's take a look at how that all works. We're going to come over here to the company tab. And some of you may see that this screen is slightly different. Okay, this is a test version. This screen here may change the input method, so um, the display. This is a feature that's in development currently in testing, um, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're looking at so far. So I'm going to type in my uh, SimBrief username. Oh, and that's one of the things we have to deal with is that some of the key bindings. are obviously mapped, which is okay. Again, that's something that will be dealt with. But then we can come over here and go from SimBrief. And you can see my last flight, okay, from Denver over to uh, Chicago O'Hare. We can see the uh, flight time and uh, or departure and arrival time. We can also see the ATIS and weather information of each location. Pretty awesome stuff. Obviously, by the time it's all done, the flight route will be displayed on the moving map at the same token. Coming over to the dispatch page, we can come to the load sheet, and you can see that it gives us page one of the SimBrief flight plan, which is pretty helpful because we get all of our information. We get our cost index information, we get our fuel planning, um, which obviously makes, uh, makes it a lot easier when you're not bouncing back and forth. The fuel and payload page are currently inoperable, but this is something that is in development um, and is going to be really, I'm really excited to see how it all comes out to play. Flight plan or flight plates currently under or uh, and flight and performance currently unavailable. Under the ground control, now these are all currently unavailable, but will be soon. You can see that uh, we'll have a pushback option, our catering, fuel, baggage, and the jetway operation all from the EFB. Some of the other things that are being pitched for the EFB, not confirmed yet um, but some of the ideas that are being tossed around is things like a lot of the configuration that we do down in the uh, MCDU the ADIRS alignment time realism settings audio settings um, it's going to be really awesome again very much like what we saw with the AVITAB in X-Plane 11 this stuff's going to be coming to the um, uh, fly pad here by fly by wire um, which by the way is a really awesome name um, so I'm really excited to see how this all comes to play. I just wanted to share with you guys a quick um, display of it. Really not a whole lot more to tell at this time, but really, really exciting stuff. There's a lot of work being done on it. I can't wait to see where it all ends up. Again, super excited to be working with the team and uh, hopefully be able to share with you guys some content a little bit ahead of the game. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. There's going to be some really cool content coming down the road here, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, folks.